WordPress plugins help you extend the functionality of your WordPress powered website. Hello, Sondu Cafe is my name, and in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to install, activate, deactivate, and delete a WordPress plugin when you no longer need it. You will learn how to automatically install a WordPress plugin from the WordPress plugins directory, how to manually install a WordPress plugin by downloading and uploading the plugin, how to install, or deactivate a plugin through your website cPanel, which is quite handy in situations you can install or deactivate the plugin through WordPress. Ready? Let's get started. All right, so I have this website here set up for this demo. Now, the first thing we want to do is just check our list of installed WordPress plugins. So we're just going to go right here to plugins and click on installed plugins. Give it some few seconds to load and you show us a list of installed WordPress plugins. Now to add a new plugin, which is to install a new plugin, just click on add new right here. And then it's going to load the WordPress uh, plugin uh, interface. And then you can see right here that we're on the future tab, which shows a list of some plugins featured by WordPress. And then the popular tab here simply shows list of the most popular WordPress plugin at the moment. And then we have the recommended tab, which shows a list of recommended plugins by WordPress due to its popularity and how useful the plugins are. And then we have the favorites tab, which is not really a feature most people use, but this simply allows you to pull up your list of uh, favorite uh, WordPress plugins. Don't worry. I will show you how to use this feature uh, in this tutorial. So let's go back to the first tab here, which is where you will be when you click on Add New. All right, so to install the plugin uh, right there from the WordPress plugins directory, you have to know either the name of the plugin or the functionality you want the plugin to have to your website. For instance, let's say you're looking to uh, extend or improve your site uh, SEO, what you will need will be an SEO plugin. For that, you could just search for SEO right here, and then it's going to load and show you a list of plugins related to your query. As you can see, we have the US SEO, and we have the all-in-one SEO pack and other SEO plugins right here. So we're going to install the US SEO plugin, which personally, I believe is the best SEO plugin for WordPress. So just click on install now to install this plugin. Okay, we're just going to quickly install another plugin, Elementor Page Builder plugin, which in my opinion is WordPress best page builder plugin. So just click on install now and give it some few seconds to install. And the last one, we're going to install Jetpack, which is another very useful plugin that I install on every website I build. Okay, we're just going to click on install now. Now to activate any plugin, if you want to activate it immediately, you install it. Once this changes to activate, just click on activate and give it some few seconds and it's going to activate the plugin. That's it plugin activated. Now, most plugins, uh, once you've activated them, will load an interface like this that basically uh, allows you to set up the plugin or basically introduces you to the plugin and how to use it. And some of them we also had um, a menu item right here for the plugin. You've seen here, we have Jetpack. So most of them will always had uh, the plugin uh, option right here to the menu item, which basically helps you adjust some options or adjust some settings in the plugin. Now you can also install a plugin by going to your install plugins and then locating the plugin in your list of install plugins and you know activating it right here. I mean to say you can also activate. So if you want to activate a a plugin, you can also activate a plugin right through here. And to do that, you just need to locate the plugin and click right here on the activate button. 
So that's another way to activate it. And I'm going to also going to show you another way to install a WordPress plugin by uploading uh, the plugin. So you can also go to the WordPress website and download the plugin from there and install. This is also the same method for, you know, for installing a WordPress plugin from a third uh, party, maybe a Team Forest plugin and so on. So to do that, just go to the website, for instance, wordpress.org, and then go to plugins. Simply look at the plugin you want to install. For this, you have to download the plugin to your system. So for this, we are going to use the classic editor plugin for this demo. So we're just going to quickly search for it. And this is it right here. You can always identify a plugin by the name and the auto. And then I'm just going to quickly click on it. And I want to download this so I can install it manually. But before I do this, I'm going to show you the favorite option that allows you to pull up your list of favorite uh, WordPress plugin when you're on the favorite tab. Now to use this, you have to have an account on the wordpress.org website. As you can see, I'm logged in, I have an account here, and I'm logged in, and to, if, you're, if you don't have an account on you here, it's just you're going to see the register uh, option. If you have an account, you're going to see the login. Just click on it and log in. And by the way, registering on this website just takes a few seconds. You just need your name and your email to create an account. Now, once you have an account on the WordPress, the whole RU website, and you've logged in, and once you are on any plugin page or any team page, you're going to see this option right there, which allows you to add a plugin to your list of favorites plugin. So you can pull your list and then install the plugin anytime you want. So to do that, just click on this and you see this will be highlighted. And this plugin has been added to my list, list of favorites plugin. Now let's go ahead and download this. I will explain how this works later on. So we're just going to click on download. And as you can see, this plugin has been downloaded to my system. Now to install this, all what I need to do is to be on my website and then go to the WordPress plugin interface. And now instead of searching for the plugin here, what I'm going to do is to click on upload plugin, click on choose file and locate the plugin in on my system. And then just double click, click on it and then let it load. And then the next thing you want to do is to click on install now. Now, once it's finished loading, it's going to give you an option to activate it. See, you've seen this has finished installing. So you can go ahead and click on activate plugin to activate the, the plugin. Now, this method uh, is also how you install a third party plugin, maybe from Team Forest or another premium uh, WordPress plugin website. So if you have a plugin, you've we paid for on Team Forest. All what you need to do is to log into your Team Forest account over to here and click on downloads. Scroll down if you have uh, several plugins, just look at the plugins, the plugin you want to install. Click on the download option here and you want to click installable WordPress file only so this will load the this will only download the installable WordPress file. If you click on all files and documentation, you have to unzip the folder and then locate the zip file of the installable WordPress file. So if this is what you want, you just click on installable WordPress file only, and then it's going to load and download the plugin to your system. And what you want to do next is to go back to your website. And once you're on the plugin interface, let me close this. So the plugin interface is just do add new. You want to do upload plugin, choose file, and just select the, your plugin and click on open right here. Hold double click on it, click on install now, and just give it some few seconds to load, and it's going to load just like it did uh, for the previous plugin we installed. Because of now we are not going to wait for this to install. 
so we're just going to we're just going to just go back to our list of install plugins now the last method another thing you need to know is how to install a wordpress plugin through cpanel and this is very handy and quite helpful in situations whereby uh, you can log into your wordpress website maybe due to a plugin conflict and you can access the plugin interface to install or deactivate a plugin so i'm going to show you how to do that right now to do that you have to log into your website cpanel which you simply need to go to your website the com for slash cpanel and then you log in with your username and your password normally your hosting company will send you your cpanel username and password when you purchase a hosting plan now i'm already logged into the cpanel i want to use for this demo right here so i'm just going to show you how to install a wordpress plugin through cpanel so once you log into your cpanel look at file manager and click on it and give it some few seconds to load all right once you're in your file manager you want to scroll down and locate the public underscore html option here and double click on it and we want to look at the wp content folder and double click on it and then you want to look at your plugins folder and double click on it now we are going to upload a plugin here but before we do i'm just going to go back to your list of install wordpress plugin and i'm going to deactivate and delete this plugin since it's the plugin i want us to use for this demo so i'm going to just delete this so we can install it again this time we'll be installing it from our file manager if i reload this we're going to see that the plugin does not exist so we're going to install it from our file manager so we're going to go back to our cpanel file manager which we had opened earlier and then we're going to just reload this so you can see that the plugin is no longer there and then we're going to click on upload click on select file and then we're going to look at the plugin right here on our system and then we're going to double click on it and then give it some few seconds to load now once you have the complete option it means the plugin has finished uploading now what you want to do next is to click on go back right here and then it's going to take you back to your cpanel now this is the plugin but we have to unzip it for it uh, for wordpress to recognize the plugin for wordpress to recognize that it's a plugin so uh, as you can see if we refresh uh, the plugin is not in our list of plugins because wordpress cannot recognize it yet and when you're installing through file manager once you put the zip file you have to unzip it but if you're installing through wordpress you have to install the zip file wordpress will automatically unzip that for you so for this we have to unzip it so to that's which is basically to extract to extract it so what we need to do is to come right here to the extract option and click on it and click it on extract files that's it it has finished extracting we click on reload right here to reload this interface you see that the plugin class a editor is here now after extracting always remember to delete the main plugin file the zip file because you will no longer need it so just delete it so it doesn't take up your web uh, hosting space now if we go back to our plugins and then we refresh the plugins uh, our install plugins interface you're going to see that the plugin is going to come right up to activate it we just need to click on the activate option and now this plugin has been activated now if for any reason you cannot De deactivate or delay the plugin through or uh, your wordpress plugin interface maybe because uh, a plugin has created a conflict and your website is not loading or you just can't deactivate or delete the plugin through here you can do that through your cpanel file manager by just locating the plugin which you are still going to use this for this example again and you can all you need is just to locate the plugin click on it that's selected and then click on delete and click confirm to delete it and then if you go back to your website you're going to see a prompt 
in your website interface, which is which will say this plugin class A editor has been deactivated due to an error. Plugin file does not exist. So with that, WordPress has automatically deactivated the plugin because the plugin file does not exist. So when you can deactivate or delete a plugin through your through your website, just go to the file manager and delete the plugin and it will be removed completely from your from your website. Now another thing you need to know is that you can install, activate, or deactivate the plugin uh, in bulk. WordPress has a bulk action feature that allows you to do uh, to select multiple plugins and activate, deactivate, or delete them at the same time. For that, we're going to test it with this. So we're going to select this. If we wanted to select all, we'll just click yeah, and then we'll select all the plugins. But we want to do just this so we are going to select and then we are going to click on bulk action and then we click on deactivate click on apply and it's going to automatically deactivate both plugins so we don't have to deactivate them one by one if we wanted to install all these plugins here since they're they are all deactivated we can just check this if you select all of them and then we can click on activate click on apply and then it's going to automatically activate all these plugins for us if we go back and then we go to plugins you see that all these plugins have been activated we want to deactivate all of them you can just select these and then click on deactivate click on apply and then it's going to deactivate all of them if you want to delete all we can still do uh, the same thing but by the way Deactivating all at once comes in quite handy if you're trying to troubleshoot a problem with your WordPress website. You can just go ahead and deactivate all your plugins to find out if it's a plugin that's causing the conflict and then activate them one by one to see which plugin is causing an error on your site. So that's basically how to install, activate, deactivate, and delete a WordPress plugin. Now that you know how to install and activate the WordPress plugin, go ahead and check out my top 10 list of must have WordPress plugins. And do well to like this video, share with your friends, leave a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload other useful videos like this. Thank you for watching.